A four-year-old girl is among the victims of the cholera outbreak that hit Magboro, Ogun State, over the weekend. There is no exact figure of casualties, but residents claim that about four persons have died from the outbreak. Plus TV Africa is following up on the story. Our correspondent, Loretta Chirga, now reports. The quiet but busy town of Magboro in Ogun State, bordering Lagos, is jolted by an outbreak. On Friday, we had a, a reported case here that uh, one of the chaps that live, who ain't really living, was a security guy that was picked by the owner of the property to man the place. One of the chaps living with them took ill and I was rushed to the hospital and was later diagnosed to be a suspected case of cholera. Uh, a second one also took ill. I was also rushed to the hospital and at the same time we got to know later the following day evening that he also passed. The environment where the reported deaths have been recorded is an eyesore and a major call for concern for most communities in Magburu. Our attention is drawn to casualties at Magburu Health Center. This little child is not spared. So the, the ministry from their release yesterday, they said it's a viral disease, um, gastroenteritis, gastroenteritis, but here we believe it was a cholera outbreak from stooling and vomiting. Presently we have two patients uh, in the health facility. One is in the other room. We brought him from Sunday. In, we saw him in an uncompleted building, already dehydrating. He was almost dead. So he has stool, he has vomited like 10 times. So the nurse have administered some drugs that WHO brought on Sunday on her. And you can see she's stabilized and she's resting. Magboro is home to many beggars who live and move in clusters with little regard for sanitation. Those people under the bridge, they live in Arepo, around the under the bridge in Arepo. They come every morning to Maguru to beg. But what we know and what we find out of recent is that there are people getting royalties from these people. And that's why they are stubborn when you tell them they should leave. They will tell you they are entitled to stay, they are entitled to work there. It's because some people are getting royalties from them. Community leaders are continuing with the monitoring of the cholera outbreak. They have asked private hospitals to refer patients with symptoms of stooling and vomiting to government hospitals. Loretta Chiogo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.